Namaste. I'm Dr. Robert, and my subject today on Five-ish Minutes with Dr. Robert is an Ayurvedic perspective on anxiety. Let's start with the word anxiety. Probably the best Sanskrit word to represent that is chinta. And chinta has the basic meaning of thinking, but it also has the additional meaning of overthinking and thinking anxious thoughts, meaning allowing your thoughts to start to circulate in such a way that they you, you dwell upon them. And when you dwell on those thoughts, they tend to create worry and then dread and then anxiety develops. But it is, it is very much a matter of thinking. As my Jyotish guru, Mr. Mantriji, used to say, thinking is a very bad habit. You should be able to think, but as a habit, it is a bad habit. And it is a bad habit because, of course, in order to think, you are moving thoughts around in your head. Any kind of movement is controlled by vata. Moreover, very commonly, you, that thought is being compared to what happened in the past, for which you have to use memory, which is under the control of vata. And when you add these two things together, there is the tendency to project forward into the future, but particularly to project forward some not particularly desirable uh, outcome. And that's where the anxiety and the, and the dread start to, to, to really develop and create a kind of momentum that allows them to then circulate around and chase their tails. Um, as vata does, I mean, what, what, is, what is a vata kind of uh, condition in the atmosphere? It's a tornado or a hurricane, something that is going around and around in a big circle. And the faster it goes around, the faster it tends to go around, and the more destructive it tends to be externally as well as internally. So anxiety is understood very much in Ayurveda to be a vata kind of condition. And so treatment of anxiety starts first of all with the physical body, making sure that you have the right food, vata controlling food, you have the right vata controlling habits, you work very assiduously to try to make the sleep as uh, deep and as uninterrupted as possible because that in itself will tend to reduce vata. Um, vata controlling uh, herbs and minerals uh, and also of course any kind of oil application but especially application to the head. Sometimes and especially very popularly nowadays it's done by what's called shiro dara which involves you lying down and having a stream of oil continuously poured on your forehead. But sometimes for anxiety, it's even more effective to do what's called shiro basti. And the word basti does, the word basti actually means a bladder because it was an animal bladder that was originally used for these purposes. But shiro basti means to take something, nowadays uh, substances other than animal bladders are used, but to create kind of a, a stovepipe hat on the head without a top on it, and then to pour oil into it at least, should be at least about two, center, two three centimeters above, uh, a, a thick of oil above the um, crown of the head, and allow that to remain there until certain uh, certain indications, certain symptoms show up in the patient after which you remove the oil. Um, this is, in certain people, of course, I've seen this personally myself, and I remember seeing it even 40 years ago. There was someone who would get very wound up after a, a couple of months, three months, and then uh, she would be administered uh, shiro basti, and then would calm down again and for several months would be fine until, until the momentum of those thoughts started to, started to increase again 
at which time again, Shirobasti would be employed to, to bring that anxiety back to a manageable level. This is Dr. Robert wishing everyone an anxiety-free future.